That's good enough. Let's load it in. When everything seems over and nothing lies ahead, the fire in me takes over and paves the road instead. Cause sometimes you need changes to burn the ways of old. Explore uncertain ranges and let your fate unfold. Oh, 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 oh. Hey everybody, it is Billy. Tough man, we're back with another reef video. We have a lot of requests. People want to know what's going on with the reef. They want the update. Well, the tank's looking a little decrepit right now. It's not looking the best. And uh, the skimmer's making a bunch of noise. The tap water's low on it. I got to put some more tap water into it. But we're going to look at it. I got things overgrowing the tank. They don't belong in this tank. They belong in the ocean. But we're going to get in there. We're going to look at it all. We're going to clean it all up and maybe make it presentable in time for the holidays. I don't know, but it is bad right now, man. And uh, some of the stuff you may be a little disappointed on. Some of the stuff you may be like, what? But we're going to get into it. We're going to clean it all up. Take a look at the reef. All right, well, here we are. This is borderline embarrassing. Um, there's a lot of salt creep all over the place. This looks horrible. This is a bunch of dried salt water on the outside. Um, we got gobs of salt all over it. Let me see here. Oh boy. It's been a while, dude. I'm telling you, I've been busy. People always say like, how do you let your tank get like this? Well, I've just been busy. And the whole backside of that, it just saws about an inch of salt creep. So we're gonna get into that. I've got a bunch of algae and man, it looks like red slime around there. We're gonna have to take care of that. That's no good. There's Poppy. Poppy's still happy, dude. Poppy's still having a good time. Remember we almost got rid of Poppy because he was eating this and then all of a sudden he just stopped eating it. So Poppy's still here. Um, we're gonna get in there. I gotta start cleaning up so we can see what's going on in here. We've got, everything looks like it's doing pretty good, but man, I can't even, it's getting to the point where the algae is getting to the, you know, that one episode that we did, if you ever saw it, the whole front of it, I couldn't even see in the tank, right? And we're starting to get to that level where it's gonna start really compounding. So we gotta get this stuff out of here. We've gotta start working on the reef a little bit. So let's clear it out. Let's, uh, and then we'll take a look at what we got. Hopefully there's some good stuff in there that you guys like looking at. I take those out and give them to Poppy. Poppy loves those, so Poppy eats those, but we're definitely gonna have to figure this thing out. But uh, it needs more water too. See, I put my lines here for my water, so I raise the water to here. That's, that's where it should be, and it's way down, so we gotta get that taken care of. So we do have a couple corals that have fallen over the side here. See, we got something going on over here. And we got that, so we'll rescue what we can. Get a more into this. Oh man, look at this. Oh man. So, oh God, look at that. Oh man, Nicole's gonna be stoked when she sees that. All that salt. That's bad. Whoa. Well, that's pretty gross. That's an accumulation of salt with a hint of dust from behind the tank. Yeah, it's pretty gross actually. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna push some of the salt back into the tank right here. I am not really don't usually like doing this, but it's probably gonna be easier. I'm just gonna kind of push it over the top, right? Okay, not the best thing to do. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in here. I don't have my long blades. I usually have the long ones. If you have a chance, you should get the long ones because you can get down in there deeper. I have, have to really get in there, but here we go. The tanks seem to like this part though, to be honest with you. And the maroons are probably gonna bite me. Ooh, look at that. That's cool. That's cool.
crazy that just by wiping down the, the cabinet, how much better it makes the whole presentation look. I should probably do this more. So I think I'm gonna clean this off because it blocks a lot of light. If you look at that salt creep, it just piles up. I got a bunch of dead stuff back there that you know, over time I've pulled out. So I think what I'm gonna do is clean all this up. That way I'm getting a little bit more light through the middle. Time for a fill up. Sometimes I only do three gallons because I don't feel like toting five gallons back there. But I'll do the full five. Straight tap water. That's good enough. Let's load it in. Coming in hot. Watch out, Chubby, we're coming in. Here we go, boys. Fresh water. Go into that blue line right there. I think it's gonna take it all. All right, man, we are cleaned up. We're gonna take a look at the reef, but look at the outside. Isn't that nice? Man, that thing looked bad for a long time, but we're gonna get in there and take a look at everything going on. Okay, well, here we go. Let's just start looking around the tank. Um, so we did have a casualty and there's something funky going on. Um, and it has to do with this maroon clown. You know, I've had a lot of people that I've talked to and they, a lot of people wanna ask like, what's up with the clown? What's up with the clown? I would not get a maroon clown. Now, I had a pair of them as you may have known before, and now the small one's missing. And if I had to blame anybody in this tank, I would blame the clown. Now they had been together for a long time, I would say for like two years, um, but uh, I don't know if the other one started to get bigger and maybe turned into a female or whatever, but the this one has battle scars. I see how like aggressive it is. Right? Nobody else is aggressive except the maroon clown. So the moral of the story, and he has a battle scar on there. I don't know what that's from, but I would not get a maroon clown if I was you. I don't care how cool they look. They are super aggressive and I would not get one. Okay, so let's start looking at some of the stuff. Let's go over to this area of the tank. Remember I told you back in the day that um, that soft core back there was gonna look really good. Doesn't it look nice? You can't really see it because it's pushed back but it really looks cool. Sometimes it doesn't have the little fingers out. I notice in the morning it looks better than later at night. Maybe it's a pH swing. Remember I told you these things would overtake that whole rock? Well, there it is. It did it. It overtook everything. Um, these are those green finger leathers that someone gave me, a small one. They're really taking off. They're doing good. Got a couple hammers back there, bicolor hammers. Uh, let's see here. The polyps are the big winners right now. Um, as you can see, these things are super extended. These things are really cool. You can't really see right now because this guy leaned over on it. See that guy, he like leaned over on it, but these things are really taken off. They look really cool under the light. They're uh, pink with green on the outside. This guy just closed back up. He was full. He looked like this a couple seconds ago, but these things look really good, right? These hammers, these look nice. Um, as you can see, we're still jam packed. Now these things are continuing to grow. And we've, this has been a topic on our reef channel for a long time, what to do with these things. At this point, I'm just kind of letting them go and they've kind of started to hug a little bit. Like this one, you can't really see it right now because he's, oh look, man. Wow, let's see I get a top view what it looks like. Yeah, you can't really see. But there's two of these monsters in here. This one's the big one, dude. Like this one, like I've said it before, belongs back in the ocean. Um, there is a piece of me that wants to cut it up. But the thing is, man, you never see them this big, dude, not in captivity. This is like, I mean, some people do have them this big, the ones that have the monster tanks, but it is so hard to get one like this. And I'm afraid if I sell it to somebody, let's say I say just cut that neck off and sell it, that they're just gonna hack it to pieces when it's just such, if I knew someone was gonna put this in like a super reef and leave it, like they had a monster reef and they were gonna leave this thing, I'd probably consider selling it to them, but it just is so awesome. And then what's really cool about these ones, when they get this big, they start folding over each other. And that's when they really look cool. So, I don't know. These things are monsters in here. I, we've talked about it many times. And uh, there's a lot of monster things in here right now that uh, I forget what someone, someone told me what this thing is. It's kind of actually, 
because I just poured the fresh water in, it's, it's kind of not super extended, but it usually is. Uh, let's see here. I got all kinds of like stuff just hiding in there, different kinds of like corals tucked in there. Some things are doing good. This is a frag rock that I put on there. You see, I got a couple of Duncan corals and uh, I don't know. I'm not sure which one that is right there. Sorry about that. I did a pause. I didn't mean to. So anyway, these look good. Let's move down the tank. These uh, neon green trumpets, I think they're called. They look really good. Excuse the dog barking. Uh, this thing usually looks good. You can see some polyps back there. They're doing really good. Um, that torch coral is doing really good. He's, he's hanging in there. Uh, let's go down the line. There's some really cool stuff back here that you don't really see that I'm hoping someday starts to make its way to the front. You see these like really ultra green like mushrooms and ultra green polyps. Those things will probably make it through. Um, that's looking okay. This was a hitchhiker that I found on a rock. These little, see these, these are so cool, these mushrooms. Dude, look at that one. Everybody loves those, man. These toxic mushrooms that I have. Everybody asks like, where are those? What are those? They're, I don't I don't see these very much. I ended up picking these up a long time ago. They were pretty expensive a, a while back and now they're probably outrageous. I mean, I don't know what these would cost. I think I remember when I got them, they were called Darth Mauls. You know, they put crazy names on them. But anyway, that's uh, pretty crazy. I got a few of those around the tank and it looks pretty wild. There's some more of the, hey, Pappy! Oh, look at it, it's our Pappy! He's excited, but we're filming him. Hey, Pappy. Oh, Pappy. Remember we were gonna take him out because he was eating this coral, but he stopped eating him. So now we're not taking him out. So let's go through here. Got a couple things laying on the ground down here. This thing takes like, I was surprised. I think these are called acans or whatever. And doesn't need very much light at all. He's been down here for a while. And uh, yeah, he's doing really good. Let's see, we've got these, uh, this doesn't do it justice, man. These things right here, when the blue lights are on are like fluorescent red. You can kind of see them, they're fluorescent red and they look really slick. Back there, we have a few more mushrooms. You can see in the back, the green mushroom colony kind of making its way. Uh, this thing, oh man, these things are shrill. I really wanted to show these off. So this is obviously because I just put the water in, but um, th these right here, these trumpets are like, they expand, they look super good. And, but right now they're just not doing that good because I took the water on. Um, these are really taking off right now. And uh, this doesn't gem. They're kind of like an orange um, Zoa, I think. And there was only like about six of them on a, on a deal. This is the one I got off. Remember I showed that thing on eBay? I told you where I ordered um, some things off eBay. And um, yeah, they're, they're really taking off. I was bummed this green guy started though because he may halt the growth. But anyway, that's really cool. Um, yeah, there's Pappy. Pappy! Being a good boy now, Pappy. Uh, I really like these guys. We talked about that before. These these are kind of like a new species that you can get, when I say new, I mean over the last few years. And uh, they're the yellow damsels. I really like them. They kind of dart in and out. Um, I kind of lost one a while back, but these two have been hanging in there really good. Let's see here. Self and Tang. He's doing really good. It's probably my favorite fish. And of course we have the I don't know which ones these are. They're kind of like a coltang, except they're they're uh, they're dark, like we call him Hershey, because he's like dark brown with an orange tip and he's got a white tail. He's really cool. But he's a Brussels nose tang, so he goes around. But uh, yeah, the, uh, man, dude, I have a, you probably can't see it, but I have a monster snail back there. I'm serious, dude. He's bigger than a golf ball and he's a bulldozer. So, oh look, look who came out. Oh, look at that. Oh, you can't really see him. Oh wait, there he is, see him? See that? Yeah, he's an engineer goby. And actually, I enjoy him. I'll throw some food in there because he actually comes out. A lot of people don't get him because um, you don't see him. But I really like those because if you look at what he's done to my aquascape, he's made the sand bed really cool. See that right there? Like they make it really interesting. So you don't get it. Okay, I'll put some food. He'll probably come out, I think so. Maybe not. Okay, let's see here. There we go. Let's see if he comes out. But um, yeah, I mean, a lot of people think I'm lying with the tap water. I'm definitely not lying on the tap water. Um, we de There's another uh, colony. Let's see here. Oh, there he is. There he is. Engineer Gobi. He's actually a really cool deal. He'll come out sometimes at night. It's a lot of fun, right? He only has one fin, man. He's like Nemo. 
Like he, he doesn't have a fin on his uh, on his on his right side. He only has one on his left. I don't know. I thought that was all of them, but I went and looked at a bunch of pictures, and that's actually not the case. So, and that's when I got him. He didn't have a he didn't have a fin on his right side when I got him. But he still moves around really good. It, it hasn't uh, hampered him too much. But um, yeah, I mean, overall everything's doing. Really, I think one of the things though that I'm going to try to see now. You may have seen that we had some good colonies of the sea anemones. I think my lack of feeding has uh, stunted these things big time. You can see one right here. So I'm gonna actually try to do an experiment. We'll kind of mark it on this date that I'm gonna start feeding these a lot more. This one right here, I'm gonna see if I can get this one back big. And that might've been the problem because when I had the little one, these things were really good size. So they both would go in there. And I think as those things shrank, there is competition for this. And maybe that had something to do with it. And he's got a mark on him. Like, that's a fresh mark on his thing. So he's been into some trouble lately. But that might have been why the little Moran didn't last. I would, I'm probably not going to get another one. Um, just being real. And uh, I would not. If I had to get him again, I would. I def, I, I'd get, like, the regular orange ones. If you really wanted clownfish, I would not get this guy. But uh, let's pan back here. We'll do an overview of this crazy tank. And I'm surprised how many people, like, are into this. Because a lot of people want to know like dude can we see that tank can you show us the update on that tank and i know a lot of people like looking at it and uh, i don't you know i'm pretty the way i do things is you know uh, some pro reefers probably laugh at it and you know and don't like you know like my advice that i give people my my advice is keep it simple dude right the kiss theory keep keep it simple stupid that is my advice that i give people because i've done it all i've, I've been in this game for a long time I was back in the game when everybody used to bleach their rocks or, or dead corals and um, no one could keep a long-term fish tank. And then I went through the phase where I was really keeping up on everything. And, and so now I've come full circle to, dude, let the tank do what it wants to do. Um, like I got a big one back there too. Look at that thing, dude. I'm gonna wrap around here. Whoa, look at that, dude. It's another one. I got, I got four monsters in here, four. And there's more growing. Like, I guess if this guy, this guy's gonna start getting big here. And then I, this kind of, well, he's not doing good. I mean, he's, not that he's not doing good, he's just closed up. I saw this one in a store, he's not green, but he had super long tentacles and I got it. And then when I brought him here, his tentacles weren't quite as big. So that was a bummer. But, um, and these things, look at, look at this thing, dude. This Monty right here, is that crazy? That thing is huge, dude. Isn't that huge? How big does that get? Like when does it stop? Does it stop growing? It doesn't stop growing, right? So, I don't know. That's a lot of fun. But, uh... Hey, hey, Pappy. Oh, look at Pappy's colors. He's showing off his colors, Pappy. You're a good boy, Pappy. Anyway, that's it. Um, I know that some of you guys have also tried the C-Lab 28s. That's what I use for my dosing. I just throw them in, and when they dissolve, I throw another one in. I don't get too much on testing. Um, and I know some of you people are saying that you've had good luck with it. That's good. And uh, so, yeah, man, that's it. This is our uh, reef update. I hope you like it. And, uh, you know, it is what it is, man. Do everything so you enjoy it. And the reason why I don't take care of this at time isn't because I don't like the reef fish or I, I'm trying to make this thing good videos. It's just because I have other things going on in my life right now that are taking up my time. So, yep, that's life. Anyway, thanks for watching. And if you like the reef stuff, subscribe. You never know what I'm gonna get into. I may come in here one day and this whole thing may implode. But uh, yeah, so subscribe. If you like this stuff, and we have a lot of other stuff we do on BTOP, we're pretty diversified. And uh, yeah, we'll get into it. So look at Pappy back there. What are you doing back there, Pappy? Oh, look at you, Pappy. Are you looking around? Look at Pappy, he's like a dog, dude. Everybody, and he sleeps up here. This is his bed. He, sleep, he just flops his body on there at night and goes to bed. That's it. Look at Pappy. Look at Pappy. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. This is Billy at BTOP.